This is my job history. Okay, I'm going to go up to that first little mug shot up at the top there. That says Bill, 1934, sold Saturday Evening Post, Ladies Home Journal, Country Gentleman and Liberty. 1920. How old were you? Nine, well, I was nine years old. That, 1928 to. In that picture, you were nine years no, old? No, I was about uh, uh, 15. Uh-huh. Okay, and then this envelope says... That's from a... No, it's his own envelope that it has his name on it. Curtis Publishing Company. Uh -huh. I worked for them, Silent Magazine, from 1928 to 1936. Uh-huh. And that's a Social Security card. And it's dated 12-15-1936. That's... Social Security only started January 1st of 1937. You were about 16 years old then? I was 17. 17. And I worked for the Kansas City Market from 1934 to 1937. 75 cents a day. Uh-huh. 15 a week. <laughs> and then I advanced to $15 a week. Mm -hmm. That's a receipt, receipt from my first automobile, a 1935 Ford. Received $175 cash for a 33 Ford? No, 35. 35 Ford two door. Used car number 1914. And there it is. There's a car right there. Boy, there's that first is neat. Car. Two door. Okay, then we're going up and over and at the top there. There's my first job at British American. Uh, Outside of these. No, this is going to take all night. I'm going to go to bed. It's going to take a long time to get through that. Mr. W. K. Whiteford was executive <laughs> president. <laughs> he brought in all those books. He'll be here all night. Boy, I can fill up this whole thing. British, all oh, about the history of the British American oil company. I'm, I started making dinosaurs. Just things that I don't think he's going to throw away, but I think later on well, this little old junk that Bill had kept, and uh, I thought, oh, well, I'd just kind of, in one of those books, I believe. Okay, it says he I later became got all up chairman of the board of Gulf you know, different things when he was in the service and when he was, his jobs, and he kept mm -hmm. little... You know, first W-2 at GA, and this or that, I mean, something. going on the... Uh, I thought, well, it... Um, uh, oh, that doesn't have your annual income. It's the yeah, that's an annual income for 1938. No, no, not seven, oh, eight seventy-two dollars per year. <laughs> well, oh, that was 1938. Okay. And this is uh, for calendar year 1939. I made twelve hundred and six dollars. Yeah. Well, if somebody, if you died and you left a box with a little junky junk in it, somebody just take it. And this is a full time building where it worked. And they wouldn't mean anything. But if you write something down and use pictures, you know, write things down. 17 stories. Well, then it means something. Okay, turn the page. People know what you're talking about. My mother had pictures. And this is uh, graduated, graduated from the Oklahoma School of Tennessee, class of 1941. She never wrote anything on the back of them, and I didn't know they did. Uh -huh. So they don't mean anything to you when you don't know well, who they are. And so you well, just picture them, you know, because you don't know what, 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 what you do have any. Wait a second. If you could, but picture somebody's little kids, how would you know? The Oklahoma School of Tennessee. They could be a relative of Oklahoma School of Tennessee, law and finance. Kids' pictures, or it could be. That's what your degree was in, law and finance? Oh, that's the name of the school? Yeah. Oh, okay. Class of 41. This is where 315 West Easton. That's when they were tearing it down. Oh, really? Yeah. Don't you remember when we went up there and it was snowing? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember that. Yeah, they'd see they'd already start taking the siding off of it. Uh huh. And this is uh, October 1944. I was leaving for the U.S. Navy. That's where I was baptized. Huh? How old was he? He was just about uh, October. He would have been three months old. So. August, September. And where did where was Mother and Mickey going to stay? Uh, 
Okay. At 315 West. This is my 1A. Let's see, this is my. No, he seems. I don't I know what he's just. Dress card. Uh huh. 1942, February 42. They don't have any and, uh, yes, Navy Training Center 44. Merry Christmas. <laughs> this is the menu <laughs> for Christmas dinner. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. I was captain of the head for Christmas Day. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> What is the captain of the head? I don't know what that he, means. He stays in the restaurant. Oh, right. <laughs> the head is a restaurant. Oh, okay. What else? What's up at the top of the page? Well, those are uh, greetings, October 1844. These are some little certificates I received from IBM in 1945 when I was in service in Washington. They say. Uh huh. Uh huh. Four five wiring and coal and wiring. And this is at 2605 Pierce Street in Arlington, Virginia. Uh, when I was in the Navy. I think the younger you are when you married the East. That's where we stay. We had a little two-bedroom apartment. Not easy, even when mm -hmm. you're young. <laughs> but once you get older, once you get older, I think that's what's so sad about all the kids that are waiting until they're... Uh, serial number, 8496496. I think they, the divorce rate is alarming, I'm sure about. Uh, you know, uh -huh. because God bless you. And this is my... It's hard for them to adjust and... Uh, uh, discharge. Deal. Oh, discharge April 10th, 46. Okay. Well, I just, it was interesting talking to get some of the. What is the This is, uh. He gets disability benefits or something. Uh, annual so British American one. picnic. Oh, is that uh, yeah. Mickey right there? Uh, is that Mickey in there? Uh, uh, Little Joe, isn't it? That's, uh. What's he yeah, uh, mm -hmm. That's you and Jan. Yeah. Uh-huh. See, uh, Janice Dams and Donna. Uh-huh. Like, it's just sort of interesting. Uh-huh. It was my grandmother's... And this is a certificate I received no, from... Uh, Kent. That, of course, was the father of my father. It says, Mr. Bill Hancock, oh, he's father? the president of, Brit uh, of like, IBM. Was, you know, uh -huh. That was at this, uh, at this uh, picnic? Yeah. Uh -huh. My mother and I gave him this you award. Yeah. He yeah. has yeah. Yeah. holes yeah. punched around. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, just real strange. Hey, how about that thank picture? Well, this is when we moved to Dallas. Famous ballerina. June of 1952. It's real strange, you know, because I... You never this is where we moved from in Tulsa. <laughs> this is where we lived when you were born, 1612 North Cincinnati. I drove down Cincinnati you know, several years ago when I was in Tulsa, and I didn't know the address. What is it? 1612 <laughs> North Cincinnati. Uh, is your yeah. uncle, um, now yeah, what relation is this uncle to you? I knew him, 1130 Eastwood Drive. Oh, yeah. And what car, what's that car out there? That's a 1953 Mercury. Our very first brand new car. Uh -huh. They have a real hang up. What happened to those three boys? Oh, uh, were there three boys in the family? Right. And they were okay. together? Yeah, and there's this little thing down in the corner there. Oh. Right here. What's that? Oh, that's uh, my grandmother. She was a real well, a news event. Uh, that's a little newspaper we had. Frank Morrow was the editor. I think it's mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Anyway. Mm -hmm. What okay. This is a, another course I took at IBM uh, in Dallas. Uh -huh. IBM County Manning. Uh -huh. This is Clint Senior, who was chairman of the board of, of Della Taylor. This is the D. Taylor was the Della Taylor magazine. So what happened is she put him when they were very young all in the so that means he pretty much owned it, I guess. Huh? Well, he just, he owned them and controlled about 20% of the stock. Uh -huh. And uh, I was employed at Delight from 
June 1st of 1956, July 1st of 1956, we sold out piecemeal in 1962, 1965. Conoco, Tenneco, SOL, Chemical, and Chemical, Texas Gulf, Sulphur, Texas Oil and Gas, Texas Pacific Oil. I left the company November 30th, 1960. These are people I worked with. Homer Sumrall, Frosty Maxwell, Quentin Anderson. This is Pat Bird, worked for Quentin. Anyway, they, he just, you know, Tony's just a lot of little stuff. Reuben Teeman, some of the relatives. Wayne Crow, Ken Wester, Wes Alliston. This is when she didn't she uh, remarried? Yeah, she remarried. Elita Harris, May, Pumper. Duncan, and Sam. Okay, wait a second. Let me let me zoom in on that. They that. all work for me in the IBM. Real fun. That how about how old were you there? Mm, no, it was in 19. Yeah, I think she did. 56. So I would have been 37. But they, you know, they never got along. Oh. Well, when you say that the women's boys were the ones who lived with them, there's a blood donor's car. Yeah, and of course uh, they were grown then. Baylor, the Baylor Hospital. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, no, it's, it's at the. Uh, yes. It's at the uh, yeah. Wadley, Wadley yeah. Blood Bank. But the sad, one sad uh. thing that I it always was real sad to me is. Mm -hmm. This is a, a certificate I received for going through IBM's school, school for the 407 and 408 again, 408 again. And this is for the I think this is for the 1401 yeah, computer. Yeah, she owned this house, and I've talked to him some about Okay, then down here there's some pictures. It's a uh, uh, first installation at Delhi. IBM section supervisor Bill Hancock watches as a counting machine prints final results reproducing the punch machine as it right. Okay, how about the next page? Well, this is when I received my degree as the Master Mason. Uh -huh. Edwin J. Keese Lodge in 1961. Right. This is, uh, I went to work for uh, Oil and Computer Services. I went to work for them December 1st of 1965. And it was started by a rise oil and gas, the AKL Hammond, and the Bomb Patrol. And I was uh, Vice President and General Manager. You know, that's like these men that run off and leave their kids. Let's see what that, yeah, what's that? Well, that was an organization that belonged to the Data Process and Management Association. Mm -hmm. And I was a charter member. You know, they're destitute, and they never... Then this is your resume here, right? Mm -hmm. Is that a kind of a resume there? Well, no, that's my job history at... Well, until you get grown uh, and then they get old, and they get uh, help them, and then they come on. Uh-huh. And, uh... Supervisor Machine Accounting. IBM equipment is CAM 402 print. What's this? Oh, this is a. And I don't think that, uh, I mean, as far as I'm going to talk about it, I don't know. Not him, but, especially uh, anybody that, uh, my heart surgery, I guess. Usually they come back in, uh, later in years because mm -hmm. 
see as people. Buck J. Wynn Jr., M.D. Men, too. Even though when they're young, you know, they work and they have okay. a new How about life the next and they have a new family and they have a new life. And so they, they, uh, oh, this is something that's they, real interesting. You know, people get old if they go back and then they no, This is an actual run ticket for grandfather. Mm -hmm. Had in the, uh, the future, and they live in the July, so they dated July the 24th, 1889. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they ran the error of their uh, oil from uh, to, to the, to, uh, the Tidewater Pipe Company well, Limited. I thought it was interesting. I guess mm -hmm. the whole and it was from the Dodge Farm, and this is my grandfather's. He signature. He, okay. he, I mean, owned, he owned this lease, the Dodge lease. Yeah. What? How, how did he? And what was the his? The back of it, it uh, was, went right from. Pennsylvania to, to Bayonne, New Jersey. Because he, um, mm -hmm. What was the name on there? McGilvery? Yeah. Alex McGilvery. Mm hmm. And this is a copy of a check. Oh, that one, Mary, I never mind. I forget her. Where is it? She Mary and I was the father of that Mary. Mm -hmm. You know, her father. Oh, this is a business card for W.K. White for he was chairman of the board of Gulf. And this mm -hmm. is when uh, That's what she the check the father said, that uh, was written you know, you by come, but, uh, for, for Gulf to purchase British American Oil Production Company for yeah, 182 million five hundred and forty four thousand dollars. My gosh. Signed by Dean Gersh, the uh -huh. guy that uh, well, I, guess he he could and I knew I uh, that mm -hmm. was vice president of the Chard and, uh, Corporation, which was a cherry born by May Petroleum. And it's uh, on a Canadian bank. Yeah. And he wanted her to have a beautiful wedding and all this. So I guess when she was ready to get married, why she probably wrote yeah. and she wrote This is my last So he was going to pay for half so well, was going to go the wedding. Well, he checked at the British American. So, or is it? Yes, the gross, uh, gross uh, pay 634. Yeah. So I was going to go with her because she was pregnant. August 31st, 1955. Mm -hmm. And uh, see, I was satisfied. Well, this is just an advertising brochure from Boyle Industries Computer Services. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Newton Bullard. She didn't marry Dick until Patsy was in college. And, and so. That's it. That's Mm -hmm. Executive vice president. Now, was this uh, she was a about the last year, two you were there? Or? No, this was back then. Uh, uh, right after I had heart surgery. She was black. I went back to work. Uh -huh. like first, first year after I went back to work. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But anyway, she's kind of amazing. Does that have something yeah. about you in writing up there on the top? Mm -hmm. Back there? Uh, yeah, right on Let's see what this says. And Iris introduced me to her. Executive Vice President. And, uh, ah, well, he entered the oil business in 1938 with British and American Oil Production Company and joined Dale High Taylor in 1956 until Dale High was sold. He was Dick, uh, manager of the company's data processing you know, department. Um, he is a charter member of the Data Systems Management Association and she is did. an active member of the you know, Georgia Kent Society of Dallas. Mm -hmm. She could have just let one of them walk down the hall if she wanted to. Rather than her father. Mm -hmm. That she really didn't. Harry you know, Lawrence. Or she really Ms. Sue Hyde. She worked uh, for me. She have worked have at British she American. Really also. She didn't have any contact with him. She was my first employee at the Hawaii's house. You know, I don't know why the girl wouldn't want 
Uh, uh, the startup of OICS, we, our first name we picked was Petroleum Computer Services, but uh, some other corporation had that name, so we had to uh, select a different name, so we chose Oil Industry Computer Services. Mm -hmm have all these friends that would go to your wedding or people. So this kind of some articles in corporations. Uh, yeah, well, it uh, states how we're going to set it up and also that I'm going to... Uh, I was one of the incorporators. Mm -hmm. Nobody uh, uh, offered dinner to speak to him, and I didn't uh, back there. Taylor Groom was Jake Hammond's I did. I think I was attorney in Bruce Calder. I know she was. I was board of directors and uh, I was vice president, general manager, and it also states what I'm to receive uh, 25 percent of the company. Mm -hmm. And your initial salary was what, a thousand a month? Uh, and Twelve hundred. Six hundred. Uh, and as soon as the uh, reception, initial programming was, was complete, I received a thousand. And as soon as the company received its and, uh, own computer, I was received twelve hundred. Table by themselves, and nobody ever. In addition, I was well, to receive twenty percent of the net profits after taxes. Subject to the following po possible reason, revision in case I purchased any of the 5,000 shares. Have the stock rather than the net profits. You all bought an IBM computer to start it off? Uh, now we finally, well, we ordered one, but we uh, first uh, used the computer at uh, Lewis Engineering for the first couple of years. This is one of our advertising brochures. And this is about the same thing. I think she's a very lovely person, and I think that... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have anything to do with their this is a little advertising brochure we have. Uh, that's all their problems. But anyway, I still think that Iris is a good person. Billing. 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 Are you in that picture? Yeah, there? No. No. I didn't have any names put in this one because in case people changed. Mm -hmm. Well, I do have my name on the back. Yeah. Where? Right here. Bruce Calder, Donald Hill, Gene Jones. Right here. Mm -hmm. About the same thing. In the Metropolitan oh, Building. Yeah. And this was uh, my last uh, office. And I uh, think, you know, that Mary, what Mary did uh, after her mother worked that way. Oh, I see, for yes. And she still. Mm -hmm. Mary probably called up. I bet I was just $50 a month just on Mary. Oh, okay. About okay, there you are, right at the outside door of 1200 Metro. Well, this, this is your mother sitting at the reception day, desk. Uh, well, I wish she married that minister. She seemed so happy with that minister. She was happy with him, and I really feel like this guy uh -huh. she coming down on the rebound, and she just, and this is, uh, you know, this office. Thing.
Did Grandma help you decorate that? Yeah, let me let me work on this. What's all that? Is that modern art there behind you? No, it's a drapery. <laughs> oh. It's been a while, I think. Okay. You know what I mean? It's President right. Bill. Okay. There's our conference. Now you weren't, you didn't have a lot of meat on, meat on your bones then. How much? Mm. This is our computer. All these disc packs. Racks, racks of disc packs. Uh -huh. That's your officer desk again. And uh, this is uh, stationary. Uh huh. That's a good picture of you right there. That's, a, that's my business card. Okay, just sit down there. And March 31st, I uh, well, left all my worries to OICS and moved to Cedar Creek Lake to relax and go fat. Uh-huh. Now this is a picture of you fat. <laughs> well, wait, I'm going to have to before and after here. This is after. And there's a pretty good shot of you skinny right there. Okay. Okay.